Hello and welcome to Lunchtime Prayer Power. Today we're praying for the entertainment mountain and we're praying for God to give us eyes to see and ears to hear. Now there are seven mountains of influence. You all are familiar with those. We've talked about that several times. And today we're praying for the entertainment mountain. Now the US media and entertainment industry is the largest in the world at $660 billion of the $2 trillion global market. And there are organizations like Pure Flix that are seeking to create and promote positive family shows, but we want people to arise on the family, on the entertainment mountain rather, and on the family mountain, but also that we would have eyes to see and ears to hear so that we know and that we're paying attention to what we're hearing and what we're seeing, that we're not just turning a blind eye to things that we shouldn't be watching. Meaning this, we want to be intentional about what we gaze upon. We want to be intentional about what we listen to. We don't want to have just mindless chatter in the background. Uh, I think about uh, sometimes we may be listening to a show at night and we fall asleep and it may turn into a different show. And so we're listening to things that are coming forth and we're consuming it, but we're not paying attention. It's going into our subconscious. Well, we don't want to be doing that with entertainment. We want to be scrolling on Facebook, looking at mindless things or looking on specific TV shows where it's completely just mindless and we're engaging in stuff that's inappropriate or that's just not beneficial to us. And God wants us to enjoy entertainment. Ecclesiastes 2 and 24 tells us there's nothing better for a man than that he should eat and drink and that he should make his soul enjoy good in his labor. This also I saw that it was from the land of God. So there's two different things. One thing is, yes, there's a time to watch some things that are entertaining. There's a time, but we need a balance. We don't want to be consumed. We don't want to be binge watching, but there is a time that we want to consume some entertainment. But that entertainment we consume, we want it to be a holy entertainment, if you will. Something that's not against the word of God. Uh, You could be watching a basketball game. That's not necessarily holy, right? But it's not against the word of God. It's not against the character of God. So we want to be careful what we're looking at. But we want God to give us eyes to see and ears to hear. That way we know exactly what we're looking at, exactly what we're listening to, because their eyes are open and our ears are open. So God is going to remove the deception from us. Matthew 6 and 22 tells us, The eye is the lamp of the body. Amen. The eye is the lamp of the body. So we want to be careful what we look upon because the eye is a gateway. Now, if therefore your eye is good, we're going to continue reading Matthew 6 and 23, 22, your whole body will be full of light. Now, verse 23, but if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? So we want to be careful what we're looking at. Amen. And there's a time when we need to pray for our eyes to be open. We see Elisha praying for his servant's eyes to open because his servant was afraid. Now the Syrians, this is 2 Kings chapter 6. The Syrians were making war against Israel, but God told Elisha about the Syrians' plans and he warned him, warned the king of Israel. Amen. So the king of Syria found out about it and surrounded Elisha in Dothan with horses and chariots. Elisha's servant was nervous. Elisha prayed to open his eyes and God did. Amen. So Elijah's servant saw the mountain full of horses of the fire and chariots all around Elisha. There were more with them than against them. But Elijah's servant needed to open his eyes. And so we're going to pray on today for God to give us eyes to see and ears to hear. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you, Lord. We ask you, Father God, to forgive us for looking at the wrong things, for looking at things that are worthless or looking at things uh, that we are consuming that are inappropriate, looking at things that are 
degrading, looking at things that are not beneficial. Paul said, all things are permissible, but not all things are beneficial. So help us, Father God, not to waste our time. Help us to consult with you, Father God, to consume you. We want to consume you and your beauty. And yes, you desire that we have a balance, Father God. So help us, help us, Father God, to navigate the the, the works uh, that we're doing, Father God. Help us to navigate what we're spending our time on. Help us to navigate, Father God, because we don't want to waste our time. We don't want to waste uh, ourselves and looking at things that are worthless. And we don't want to be taking breaks to gaze upon things that are destroying our eye gates because our eye gates are a lamp into the body. Help us, Father God, not to consume the wrong materials. Help us, Lord, to consume you. And and when we take breaks and we are doing entertainment, help us to entertain ourselves with the right things. We want to know what you want us to look at, Father God. And some, yes, Father God, you're calling us to a higher uh, power. You're calling us to a higher glory. And you're asking us to remove some of this entertainment, some of these things. You're asking us to remove them. You're asking us to lay them aside. You're asking them to put it away so we can spend more time with you. Give us grace, Father God. Your grace, your unmerited favor, uh, you oppose the proud, but you give even more grace to the humble. So we ask you on today, Father God, to give us more grace to do what you called us to do. Give us more grace, Lord, to walk in your assignments. Give us more grace, Father God, to do what you called us to do to look at what you called us to look at. We pray that you open our eyes, Father God. Your word says in Matthew 5 and 29, if your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. For it is better that you lose one of your members than that your whole body be thrown into hell. So help us, Lord, in this hour to to cut off. Some of us need to cut off our eyes, Lord. We need to, to tear it out because it's causing us to look upon the wrong things. Help us right now, Father God, to gut out our eyes if they have become consumed with the wrong materials, if they have been consumed consumed with the wrong things and it's two different things one is over consuming things uh, that we don't need to uh, even be doing because we're distracted from things we should be doing and other things are just things we should never look at because they are not good they are laced in profanity or laced in things that are just not glorifying you so help us father god to strike balance with when we should take a break and we should uh, entertain ourselves we should spend time with our family but help us father god to balance that give us your wisdom Wisdom. Give us your spirit of counsel so we can help others in this area, Father God, because many are struggling with what to consume because there's so much coming at us, Lord. So we pray in this hour, Father God, that you would give us strength, that you would give us mercy, that you would give us glory in this hour to look upon what we are supposed to look upon and that we would not consume things that are worthless. We would not consume things that are destroying us, Father God. Help us, Lord. Give us more power in this area, Lord. We want to consume what you want us to consume. Open our eyes to see and our ears to hear. We may be listening to something that we don't even know is deceptive. We don't even know that it's not the right things to be looking upon, Father God. So we pray right now, Lord, bring up more godly entertainment in this hour. Raise up individuals on the entertainment mountain to glorify you that are creating things that are are not worthless, that are creating things that are not selfless, that are creating things that glorify you, even though they are entertaining, Father God. And help us not to be religious in this area, but help us to consult you because some things that you allow one of us to look at, the other person, you're saying no, not to look at that. So help us, Lord, in this hour to consult with you about what we each should gaze upon, about what we each, and help us to step aside when something is coming on that's inappropriate or or just not for us to to step aside. Help us not to condemn others or judge them because you've not given them the same word you've given us because we don't want to become proud. You oppose the proud. We don't want to become haughty because pride goes before destruction and haughty spirit before a fall. We don't want to be doing the wrong things, Lord. Help us in the hour because the days are evil. We need to redeem the time. So help us, Lord, in this moment, as the days are short and we need to be about our Father's business, help us, Lord, to be so laser focused that we are just uh, consuming things and taking breaks under your discretion, Lord. We surrender our time to you. You are the owner of our time. We ask you to help us steward it and we give you full reign. You are preeminent. We want you to be preeminent in our lives, Lord. We love you and we surrender every care, every desire at your feet because we don't want to do anything that you don't want us to do. We don't want to do anything that's going to damage us, hurt us, or hinder us from going forward. So we stop in this hour, Father God. 
and we surrender. We give it all to you. And we know that you're a gracious God. No good thing will you withhold from them that walk uprightly. You love us so much. So help us, Lord, in this hour to surrender our plans to you, to commit them to you, and they will succeed. You are a mighty God. We thank you, Lord. We bless you. We lift your name on high. We exalt you, Father God. You are an amazing God. You are a great lover of us. You are hmm, the lifter of our heads, the love of our souls. So we thank you, Lord. You are so good. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. I still want to pray, and I know this is not part of our normal time, but I want to pray over our finances. And this isn't a, a call to give. We're not doing that. But I want to pray that God blesses you in your giving, in what you're doing, in your projects and the provision that he is bringing to you. Because if God has called you to do something, he's going to provide. He supplies all our needs according to his riches and glory. Amen. In Christ Jesus. So he wants to help. He wants to provide for you. We pray for that because as you're, you know, watching what you're supposed to watch, sometimes we are consuming entertainment. We're wasting our resources on that. And so when we get ready to do something, we get ready to give, which we should already do first to the Lord. Uh, but we may find ourselves or a project we're working on, we find that we don't have the money, but it's because we've been consuming it in the wrong spaces. So I'm going to pray for this here, and then we were going to dismiss. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you bless our finances father god you supply all our needs according to your riches and glory in christ jesus we pray for every person that listens to this that you bless their finances that you abound in their lives that you help them father god that you give them provision for their assignments that you help them advance the kingdom lord we pray that you open their eyes to see new opportunities new business deals new alignments father god we pray that you would open their ears to hear prophetic words that can help them uh, to sow in times of famine father god we pray lord that you would lead them and guide them into all truth that you expose every wicked plan of the evil one trying to come against their finances trying to come against what you are doing in their lives we pray right now father god that you would help them that you would promote them that you would advance them in the kingdom and that you would give them righteous assignments and help them to walk in acts of righteousness we pray father god that they are clothed in garments of praise father god and that they are fully armored lord help them lord to walk in battle readiness in this hour to war against the enemy and to advance the kingdom of god help them to stay so laser focused that they're not pulled aside that they are not tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine that they are so focused on your word they're so focused on your way that there are worshipers that worship in spirit and in truth bless them father god and all that you called them to do that they advance in the kingdom of god and they advance it that they advance in it and that they advance it father god we thank you for the promotions coming to the body of christ we thank you for the advancements we thank you for the, the prophetic and divine alignments we thank you for what you're doing in this hour and we call out to you father god we call out to you for your favor we call out to you because you are good and we thank you lord that your favor surround us like a shield but you are our exceedingly great reward and so we bless you we honor you we glorify you in this hour and we are not afraid to remove any fear from us father god and we repent for being afraid about financial lack as we hear about rumors of wars and wars as we hear about financial crisis as we hear rumors about recessions we're not worried lord we thank you father god help us not to be anxious help us to see things before they erupt and before they arise before they even happen father god help us to tear them down and to plant and to sow and to do the work that you called us to do that we will not be worried because your word tells us not to be anxious for anything so we know, Lord, that you are good and you are powerful and you are mighty. You love us. You love us so much. So we thank you, Lord, for your love, for your goodness. Help us to love you more with the love that you've given us because you are a good God. You're gracious and mighty, victorious in battle. You are Jehovah Gabor. You're Jehovah Jireh to our provider and Jehovah Shalom, our peace. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you guys, and I thank you. We always want to follow the, the, the word of the Lord and what God wants to do through the Holy Spirit. So we honor the Lord here, and we allow God to move as he wants to move. Amen? God bless you guys. Take care and continue to join us as we pray for the seven mountains of influence. God bless.